Hi there, Juanita's Casita here, and I'm going to show you how to add a stamped, um, maybe a stamped saying or sentiment inside this card after I've created it. So I'm going to be using this Maker's Movement Crafty Chica stamp. It says you are the most and I need to first of all um, I need to um, condition the stamp when stamps are brand new they tend to have this kind of um, you hear a lot of people say it won't pick up the ink or when I stamp it I've got some some blank spots that's because the stamp needs to be conditioned when it's brand new I like to take an eraser and like almost like I'm erasing the stamp I rub it vigorously all, all over the stamp not too hard you're not, you're not trying to rip your stamp but I'm not doing it wimpy either. I'm going over it several times, much like when you erase something on paper, you'll have the little eraser bits left behind. So that's what I'm doing it. I'm running it all over. I took it from my Spellbinders mat, put it on this uh, just piece of paper so I could just, you know, see, so you could see what I'm doing. And of course, I don't have my microfiber towel anywhere near me. So let me go grab it because that's how I do. I have everything everywhere. So I'm going to use a microfiber cloth to wipe away, and that's why I'm, I'm doing it kind of like not, I'm, again, I'm doing it vigorously, which is why you're seeing the camera, um, you know, move around here. So I'm going to wipe all this off, get all the bits off, and then I'm going to uh, put it on my Misty by Hero Arts and My Sweet Petunia. So now that I've got it cleaned off, I'm going to move my finished card off to the side. I'm going to um, position my Misty and we need to move these uh, magnets. And by the way, these magnets are legit. They are super strong. They help to keep your, uh, your die cuts, your paper, whatever you're gonna stamp on, it helps to keep it like right there so it won't move. So now I need to position my card to see which way I'm doing this. No, wait, flip it around. I want the sentiment on the green part. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Obviously, the little um, coffee cup to the side, that's dimensional. So I don't want that anywhere near. That's going to hinder maybe how the lid goes on. So I think this is good. That's hanging off the side. I don't have to worry about it. Now I need to position my stamp. And you're going to position the stamp with the part that you would ink. That faces your paper, much like if you were stamping right now. Okay, I think I like it a little on the diagonal side. So that's where I want it. I'm going to take the lid. And um, I'm going to go ahead. Well, first, I'm going to put the magnets. Sorry, I'm going to put the magnets down. i got to get those magnets. That's going to hold my project in place so it doesn't move around. And I'm going to use all the magnets because I like maximum magnets. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to close the lid. It, the uh, cling stamp is going to cling right there to, um, to the, I guess, the lid of the Misty. Now I'm going to take my Memento ink. I think it's called Tuxedo Black. And I really like Memento because I like the shape of the ink pad. I like the way it, it, I can hold it. This dew drop, I think it's what it's called. Um, and so now I'm stamping the stamp. I'm adding the ink to the stamp. And I don't, again, I don't do really well with the big, with, they're not even that big, but you know, like the palm size ink pads. I like this one better. I've got chubby hands, so. I tried to like ink it up and you want to ink it up real good. Make sure you get all the spots in there, all the letters, all the pieces of the letter uh, of all the letters of the sentiment or the saying. I got it. I think I've got it pretty good. That's my head there pinking through. Okay. I think so. Maybe a little bit more right here. I don't know if I've got enough. Okay. I think this is good. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, seal that up and I'm showing you the brand there, Memento. I, it's my favorite brand just because it inks up really well and I like the way it feels in my hand. So I'm going to push that down, apply pressure. I don't have one of those speed ball or whatever they're called. Um, they look like things you play like um, air hockey with. I need to get myself one of those. But I'm just going to use my hands to push down, lift it up, and ta-da! Look how good that looks. I am so happy with that. It says, you are the most. And I thought um, there was just too much space in there to write, and I my handwriting's atrocious. So... I'm really happy with this Maker Maker's Movement stamp, uh, clean stamp by the Crafty Chica and Maker's Movement. And now I'm removing my magnets. And I think it's done really well. Look how cool that looks. It's just a really great job. Gosh darn it. Got to get these magnets up using my two-on-one by Spellbinders. And um, now I need to wipe off my stamp. Going to bring back out the microfiber cloth. I really like using microfiber. Uh, it really cleans things up. And you're going to see here in a second how much ink I took off. Look at that. There's the ink. Some, some people use baby wipes and you can use baby wipes, but I'm pretty messy. So I'm just going to use this uh, microfiber cloth. Wipe that down really good. 
And now I'm going to remove the clean stamp because I need to put that away. I'm going to wipe off the inside cover of my misty lid and reattach these pesky, pesky, uh, <laughs> these magnets. Okay, so all done right there. There's my Mir Hero Arts Misty. I love that thing. That thing is awesome. And there's my card, y'all. Really happy with that. Now it's complete. Now Juanita's Casita is happy. Thank you for watching.